ESPN Plus as the number four Texas Longhorns look to complete the sweep of the host West Virginia Mountaineers here on ESPN Plus. Thanks for joining us. I'm Andrew Caridi. It was a close three sets, although Texas got the sweep in yesterday's action. West Virginia was actually up early in the first set, and the second set tied at 15 until Texas eventually ran away with it. A strong performance that saw nine service aces from the fourth-ranked Longhorns. They'll look to make it 12 victories in a row as the number four team in the country and stay perfect all time against West Virginia, 24-0 in their last year in the Big 12. But this is made harder for the host West Virginia Mountaineers and head coach Reed Sonohara. As at least we saw introduced in the starting lineups, Asia O'Neill, who missed last night's game, looks to be in the rotation seven in white for head coach Jared Elliott. There he is as he prepares for this one. Why is that important? Well, Texas has the lead in a couple of categories, as does Asia O'Neill in the Big 12. O'Neill first in the Big 12 in hitting percentage and in blocks. She's seventh in the country in blocks as well. But Texas, a tough team, tough defensively, lead the Big 12 in blocks, points, third nationally in blocks. West Virginia will have to hit efficiently and get it past this Texas front line. We're ready to go here in Morgantown. West Virginia to start. And the opening serve comes from Lauren DeLoe, and we are underway. Swindle pushes to the far side. Nice block from the Mountaineers as they double up. Tierney Jackson was over there for WVU. And it's 1-0 West Virginia. Great look at it. Texas try to get that play made. By Molly Phillips. Couldn't get it. Service comes again from DeLoe, that time into the net. And the point belongs to the Longhorns. So West Virginia, 0-22 coming into this weekend against Texas all time. Longhorns now 11-0 at the WVU Coliseum. The national champions will have their first service. This is Emma Halter, the sophomore. Mountaineers set up through the middle. And there is the block. Asia O'Neill on cue with Phillips. Drops it right down. Mountaineers look to attack a couple times through the middle in yesterday's match. They go there again, denied at the net. Was the Golden Blues Emma Baratich, the freshman middle blocker, runs right into the redshirt senior, Asia O'Neill. 2 1 West Virginia still. It's Mia Foster. Swindle goes far side. Mountaineers get a piece of it, remaining in the system. Miller off hands, counted for WVU. Bailey Miller on cue. For West Virginia, got a great performance out of her yesterday. Led the way in kills for the Mountaineers as she attacks off of that near side yet again. And WVU up 3-1 here in set number one. Miller had 14 in last night's contest. Through the middle, O'Neill pokes one to Kovis, the West Virginia libero. Far side, Jackson gets it to drop. And West Virginia has taken four of the first five points here in our opening set. Tierney Jackson, six foot four, able to range across and get it to drop. Mountaineers up seven to four in the first set yesterday, but another service error from West Virginia gives Texas some life now, four two. Longhorns down to Texas looking to get another great performance off of the intro in our rallies here. They have a 9-2 ace advantage last night. Foster tries to handle it, poorly handled, and Texas will get the point yet again, 4-3. Pele Akana starts us off with a missile of a service. Miller blocked at the net again. Swindle and Asia O'Neill denying that attacking opportunity from Miller, who's the offensive focal point for West Virginia here early on. DeLow with a nice set. And Asia O'Neill, redshirt senior, the middle blocker, 6'3 out of South Lake, Texas. Ties the game at four. Foster handles through the middle. 
And a violation on West Virginia and Texas has scored the last four points here, down 4-1, up 5-4 here at the WVU Coliseum. Texas began the 23 season as the number one ranked team in the ABCA preseason coaches poll for the fourth time. They're fourth in the country right now. Great defensive team, they're showing it off right now. Miller, as Texas react to it, good block to the net by the Mountaineers. Miller keeps it up. Far side attack, Jackson gets it a fall. And Tierney Jackson gets her second kill of the match. 5-5, five, five, back and forth we go. Here in set number one. Mountaineers so far, varied in its attack. Off to the go to Jackson, that time again. Seeing them go through the middle early. And then of course to Bailey Miller near side. Kovitz with the serve, which is easy to handle for Swindle. Gets the setup and a great attack from the far side. Count it for Madison Skinner. The junior outside hitter, 6-2 from Katy, Texas. Great setup that time by Swindle, the freshman setter from Columbia, Missouri. And Texas has taken its first lead of the match, 6-5. Swindle with the assist, she had 28 last night. Madison Skinner finished with 12 kills to lead the Longhorns in yesterday's match. 6-5 Texas, Swindle, O'Neal with the hammer down the line. And Asia O'Neal back in the swing of things. Here for these Longhorns. Get another great look at it again. There she was defensively. And off the left foot of Kovis. This Texas team is long and athletic. And they get their attacks down. Violation on West Virginia. Point Texas. Longhorns have taken the 8-5 lead. Skinner. Nice foster chase up to it. Miller attacks. Point Mountaineers. That time off the hands of the block that was well positioned. And Bailey Miller scores again here for WVU. Looks like that was off the head of A.J. O'Neal. Tierney Jackson serves as Coach Elliott looks on. Swindle the setup to O'Neal, slam dunk. Point Texas, 9-6, Longhorns by three. And it's O'Neill's service now. Placement on the shot so far, perfect for Texas. As Jackson goes for a seat for West Virginia. Kovis digs. And Miller just had to toss it over. Swindle through the middle, pushed ahead, and a beautiful teardrop scores for the Longhorns. First team to reach double figures, Texas. As we can check a second look at that one. Can't get any closer than that. What a play, what a push. And Madison Skinner just as surprised as everyone else. Mountaineers having to work hard to handle these Texas services. The attack on the far side from the recent injury, Maddie McGaff, the freshman middle blocker, gets West Virginia on the right side of things. Mountaineers have struggled to score consistent points here. They get one there. Tacked off the angle well. Bailey Miller now serves for the Old Gold Blue. Thanks for joining us on ESPN Plus. Coach Sinahara looks on. Far side attack for the Mountaineers. Kept up. Another attack. That time, Point West Virginia couldn't keep it in. A couple of nice digs by Kayla Akana, never got the proper look that Texas wanted. And just a misfire, there's space between the blockers, Texas unable to find it as they went down the line instead. Miller serve, just misses outside. And the Longhorns keep that lead to three. Kana makes way. Texas will make some changes here. Emma Halter, sophomore, Lubero has entered. Yeah, 
and is crushed for a kill. McGath again on that swing to the far side, the freshman middle blocker with a rocket right to the aforementioned halter, the sophomore from Indianapolis. Mountaineers within two now, but a third service error of the first set already by West Virginia. Giving away points here to the Longhorns, as many service errors, that is the point differential right now. West Virginia is down three. Carissa Barnes now enters, redshirt senior from Weatherford, Texas, transfer from AM Corpus Christi. Starts the rally. Mountaineers can handle it. The attack comes and falls for the Gold Blue. There is Haley Green on cue, gets her number called for the first time. Slow to get up, but seemingly okay. Emma Halter. Haley Green had 12 last night in that three set sweep for Texas. Teams are trading points here. Delow attacks. Through the middle, count it every time if Texas can set that up. Quick and clean. 13-10 for the Longhorns. Net front look got up and over the West Virginia wall. At the front of the net, we'll get some moisture wicked up real quick as we had a Mountaineer down in the back line. 13-10 here on ESPN Plus, number four Texas over West Virginia so far. Up three, only took three sets. And last night's sweep. Halter's service is a low dropper. Jackson gets it to fall. Her timing is on tonight so far, Tierney Jackson who went with the forward attack for earlier opportunities. This time, maybe a little bit behind it, made the most of it. Halter was there to make a good play. But a split second, too late. Mountaineers down two, 13-11. Foster, back to the Mountaineers, score it. Baratich was waiting on it as it came to her. The freshman middle blocked it, took advantage of the Texas mistake, and Foster who committed that service error earlier. It's a nice knuckler that confuses the Longhorn back line. Point difference is just one now. Another good serve from Foster. Far side attack, Foster. Good keep for West Virginia. Jackson again, she's on fire. Fourth kill for Tierney Jackson. She ties it up at 13. These teams weren't too far apart despite the sweep as we mentioned before. Tierney Jackson, the Mountaineer focal point early on in this game. West Virginia was up three early in the first set last night, and the second set was tied at 15. Fourth error on services for West Virginia so far. Gives Texas the one point advantage. So far, West Virginia 18 to 13 in attacks, kills 11 to five. This is not a Texas team, despite being one of the best teams in the country that overwhelms its opposition with kills. They're more of a defensive team. Miller blocked. Asia O'Neill and Swindle showing exactly why. That near side with Asia O'Neill on the front line is a heavy lift as Bailey Miller, one of the talented players in this Big 12 Conference, denied at the net yet again. We've got a timeout as Texas has taken the 15 to 13 lead. Other team stats, West Virginia up 11 to five in kills officially, attacking errors four to two in favor of West Virginia. Set assists, 10-5, WVU, service errors. Now, officially they'll score as digs even a piece at 4-4. And Texas, two to one area away from that Texas block. This Texas team ranking second nationally coming into this series. That was yesterday, they're now third with 3.03 blocks per set laid by Asia O'Neill who ranks sixth na nationally again. O'Neill missed the match last night, but she's available in this one. And we've already seen her do some things extremely well. Two kills for O'Neill on three attacks, two block assists and three points 
She's the leading scorer for Texas up to this point as the timeout concludes. Kayla Akana. She's good there from Kovis. Texas gets the block there from Swindle and O'Neill. And Foster just delivers it over. O'Neill denied. Good block there from West Virginia. Combination with Baratich. Kovis keeps it. Miller can attack with a changeup. That's right to the Texas back line and Halter. And Kovis trying to make the most of that. Texas gets the point. 16-13 here in this best of five. See that uh, how that attack manifested. Swindle, quick thinking. Caught West Virginia off guard. Rarely is Kobus off guard though for WVU. Did what she could. Akana. And now count. Akana delivered that one with pace. Not easy for West Virginia to deal with. And the Mountaineers will take another timeout. Samia Foster could not handle that at the back line for West Virginia. Bailey Miller was retreating towards that area as the ball came over to her. And Texas takes the four-point set lead. They're up 17-13 here from the WVU Coliseum. So Texas seems poised to make another deep run in the NCAA tournament on their way to looking to capture back-to-back -back national championships. They haven't lost since September 15th against number 11 at the time, Washington State, 3-1. to one. Their only other losses of the season came to a sweep against Stanford back on, on September. Number two, Stanford at the time. 3-zip, and then the opener against Long Beach State, 3-1. to one. Since then, they have reeled off 11 straight wins, have not fallen this season in the Big 12. They've already taken down the likes of them, 9 BYU, 3-1 to one in back-to-back -back matches. At the sweep, six sets against Oklahoma across two matches. And before arriving to Morgantown, they were challenged by number 20 Baylor. Took the first match, three to two in five sets and then swept the Bears in Austin. Longhorns, theoretically, in a really good spot to finish this Big 12 season slate undefeated. After West Virginia, they've got Kansas State, Cincinnati, Iowa State, UCF, and Texas Tech. The West Virginia timeout. Longhorns by four. Akana serves. And the air gives West Virginia the point after the break. Difference is now three as Akana misfires and West Virginia shows good tempo. Kovas. Short serve. Can be set up, O'Neal crushes it for another kill. 18-14. That is what Texas was missing yesterday. Not that they needed it, not that they didn't look lethal, but when you add that element of Asia O'Neal. Just something you can't prepare for. Serve from Skinner, Foster Diggs. And can be touched down for a West Virginia point. Swindle was there, but off balance. And the old Golden Blue keeping it close. The varied attack as Jackson serves for both teams throughout this first set. And O'Neill is automatic from that side. Substitution in the meantime for Texas. And she quite literally gets 90 degrees on top of that ball. And can choose whatever angle she wants. And serves here. Delow 
Quick thinking again, gets West Virginia the point. They're within three. Coach Elliott with some instructions prior to Texas receiving the service from Bailey Miller. Swindle across. Attack comes off of the Mountaineer from Jenna Wenis. Getting her first points of the game. And actually off the left hand of Lauren DeLue, who has at the net front. Swindle serves. Tovis will set up Green, pushes it across, and Swindle opts to play it. Attack comes from the far side now and scores. 21-16. Texas four away from claiming the first set here in Morgantown, and we've got a timeout. So a pause here at the WVU Coliseum with West Virginia down five points here in Morgantown. We talked about Asia O'Neill's availability in this one as West Virginia has out attacked Texas and out killed them 13 to 10. But a couple of service errors and good defensive plays. Blocks from Texas have the Longhorns up so far. Asia O'Neill, four kills in the game. Two block assists and five points for the redshirt senior. Last time out was against Baylor in that sweep of the Bears. O'Neill had six kills. Four blocks. She's only been in double figures once in block assists this season. But has put a nice run together in her last five Four playing in this one, nine, four, four, seven, and four. And has reached double figures in kills just twice this season, but twice in the last seven games. Seems to be on a pace to get to double figures here tonight. She's already got four. Texas 21, West Virginia 16. There she is, O'Neill getting some coaching. Serve from Swindle. Pushed across by West Virginia, kept alive. Texas out of the back line. Miller sets up green, deflected off a hand. Swindle cross, blocked, but out, 22-16. Texas gets the point. See again, Texas opting for that far side with Wenis, the junior from Frisco. Swindle across. Near side attack, blocked by the Mountaineers. Great dig from Miller. And Green gets West Virginia some momentum. Only worth one. But the way that this latter stage of the first set has gone, maybe some momentum for the Mountaineers as Sarah Gooch enters. Great dig for Miller to set it up. And the low put it on a tee for West Virginia's leader and kills Haley Green this season. 22-17 Longhorns. Through the middle. Pushed over for a West Virginia point. Well, you get a roll, and it's Bailey Miller again. Meant to do it. Gucci serve. Air makes it 23-18, Texas. Your coach, Sonohara, you're satisfied with everything but the service errors. So far here, it's the sixth of this first set for West Virginia. Go, 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 go. 
Carissa Barnes serves. Screen can be set up off the defender and counted for the Mountaineers. 23-19. Rarely do you get this Texas team off balance. Take advantage of it when you do. One away from set point, set from the low. Swindle, good block with the net by West Virginia. Texas with a different look. Singletary was the decoy. The attack came from Molly Phillips. 23-20, West Virginia within three now, and a timeout called by the Longhorns. And their head coach, Jarrett Elliott, in his 23rd season, it still has him at 507 for West Virginia. Halloween over, not for some. So really, when you consider that, two aces and six errors, that is an eight-point swing in favor of the Longhorns. West Virginia does not have a service ace. Longhorns need just two to take this first set here. And West Virginia looking to snap a four-game skid. They can unseat the Longhorns for the first time in program history. Serve from the low is a decent one. Ooh, difficult for Texas to handle this. They go through the middle and West Virginia gets the block. It looked uncomfortable for the Longhorns. And Tierney Jackson has WV within two. You see that attack difficult for Texas to get anything comfortable on and Tierney Jackson got the right hand on it. Had it fall, 23-21. Far side attack, crushed, out for a West Virginia point. Skinner with the misfire, 23-22. Bella Bergmark, the redshirt senior, middle blocker, is in now for Mariana Singletary. 23-22, Texas. Low serve, and there's the attack to bring us to set point. Phillips, that time, finds the mark. Same set that Texas had run prior to the timeout. They feign that shallow attack, and look to take the first set here. Green attacks for a West Virginia point. 24-23, still at set point here for the Longhorns. And West Virginia has the serve, it'll be Foster. Well, great crowd on hand at the WVU Coliseum. Back and forth we went, back and forth we go. Foster, Swindle, near side. And Phillips wins the first set for Texas. Didn't get all of it. Might have actually just sliced it a little bit. Nonetheless, Asia O'Neill back in the swing of things and Texas able to take the first set here in Morgantown. Wasn't easy, 25-23 back for the second set when we return on ESPN Plus. Sets here against the host West Virginia. Andrew Creedy with you on Big 12 Now on ESPN+. Plus. Let's walk you through some numbers in that first set of action here from Morgantown. West Virginia out attacked Texas 32 to 29, out killed them 17-13. Four errors on attacks for the Mountaineers, six errors on services. It really doomed West Virginia. You take away some of those mistakes and then you get some rallies that maybe West Virginia can actually have a chance to get some points. Texas 9 to 7 and digs as we see Asia O'Neill there back in the swing of things for the Longhorns after missing last night's game. She played 
a tremendous first set for Texas. She had four kills. She leads Texas right now in that category. Two total blocks and two assists. Not out here to start the second set. Did her a breather, she'll be good to go. Mountaineers are primed and Texas will begin with Carissa Barnes, the red shirt senior, five foot seven from Weatherford, Texas. Through the middle, Point Texas. And the attack comes from West Virginia's Emma Baratit, the freshman middle blocker. And I don't even have that much of a look. Texas is aligned well. Hard forward to low. Miller attacks. That's a touchdown from Texas. And another block at the net. That was out. Texas kept it in. Baratich, 50-50. And they'll get West Virginia on a carry to make it 2-0. serves. Jackson there for the Mountaineers. Tierney Jackson gets her fifth kill. That is a match high as Samia Foster enters for Haley Green. Tierney Jackson, a sophomore middle blocker from Tulsa, hitting 625. Early on in this game. Skinner took a hard deflection off of a Mountaineer. And Texas goes up three to one. Texas is a team hitting 267, West Virginia 316. Halter serenaded. Miller off hands. The quality attack for West Virginia. They do get it. And Bailey Miller will get the kill, make this a one point second set. The low had all the time in the world to set up Bailey Miller. Kovas. Out. Service errors adding up for West Virginia. You do make the argument that cost West Virginia in that first set. That is the seventh of the match. We got the swim team here. Akana's serve, always difficult. Miller, good dig. That time by Halter. Still in system for West Virginia. Jackson with a long attack, off hands. And it's not gonna get over, Point Mountaineers. 4-3, WVU. There is the swim team, I hope they're the swim team. Jackson goes off that far hand from Skinner. It is a great crowd on hand. Can't be kept in. Took a hard bounce at the front line and Foster off balance as it came back to her. 5-3. Did what she could. Still within two, West Virginia at no point has been outmatched at any point. I know we're early. Gaff denied, given back over, and Miller's quick toss given quickly back to her. 6-3 Texas. 
Good job from Delo to keep it up for West Virginia. But Swindle at the far side dropped it in. Longhorns by three. Into the net. Error against Madison Skinner, the Katy, Texas native. Six to four. Foster makes way. Haley Green re enters for WVU. Haley Miller on the serve. And Texas spreads the floor. Longhorns keep it alive. That was a one handed punch that might have scored for Kovis. And it's still up. Rally continues. And a violation on West Virginia. And Texas earns the point, 7-4. to four. I think they'll get West Virginia on a net fault there. Number four, Texas on top of the Mountaineers by three. Won the first set, 25-23. Hey, Joe O'Neill. Low comes all the way back for it, and Green just deals it across. Attack off of the hand, and one of scores. 8-4 Longhorns. West Virginia just couldn't get that front line there quick enough and create a block. That's an ace for Asia O'Neill. That dipped. And eventually came down just in time. Asia O'Neill will get another opportunity. And she's made an impact in this game. And at the low, Green denied by Swindle, but the Mountaineers somehow keep it up. Quick attack across by Texas. Miller will flip it over to the Longhorn front line. Not a clean look for Lennis at all. And it's out. Virginia point, 9-5. Neither team really able to capitalize or create anything on that rally. And just a bit high. Well, not the cleanest uh, reception by Texas. West Virginia will try and, try and take advantage of it. Green rolled at the net, couldn't make a play on it. That was hanging on top of the net, and it's 10-5 Longhorns. McGaff makes way. Kovis is back in. You just see it sit on top of there, and Green couldn't react. And he was trying to drop it over, and a miscommunication there. Delow and Quincy Coyle. Texas has its largest lead of the match, six points here in our second set. Took the first set 25-23. Staved off a late West Virginia rally. Hello, the return to Haley Green. Quickly under it, Halter. Miller off balance, just deals it across. Far side attack. Kovis with a push, but can't keep it in. That came quickly to Kovis, and looks like Coach Sonohara wants to take a timeout here, put the pause on things as the Longhorns have, consco have scored here consecutive points, making it 12-5 here in set number two. Texas playing within themselves in West Virginia, just unable to find that rhythm and Find that angle of attack that they had earlier. Here in the second set, Texas has outkilled West Virginia seven to three. They've outscored the Mountaineers 12 to five. Defense 
not as much of the focal point for Texas in the second set as it was in the first set. Tierney Jackson had a great first set for West Virginia. Haven't seen too much of her in the second frame for the Mountaineers as WVU huddles up. Coach Sanahara gets them ready. And Jackson will not be out there for WVU. Jackson, six kills, nine attempts, seven points, leading score for West Virginia. The match's leading scorer as well, Jenna Wenis, with five kills for Texas, four for Skinner, and four for O'Neill. Molly Phillips also with a quiet four kills. This is Swindle serve. Green with a missile. Halter can't handle it, and after the timeout, Mountaineers cut the lead to six. from DeLo. Oh, poorly handled by Texas. Skinner just has to lift that over, buy her team some time to get back in system. Green's attack, Tovis at the net front. We'll go to the swing to Jackson who misfires, and Jackson appeals for the deflection, and they get it. It touched a Longhorn. West Virginia gets the point, 12-7. Just a fingertip. The low will set up Jackson, who pushes one across to the opposite side. Wenis had a deflected Miller, keeps it alive on the strange bounce. Green back across. Wenis set up well. Yeah. Can't do anything with that. It came down hard. Bailey Miller in a relatively good position, but when Texas attacks, they attack hard. Mountaineers couldn't get their blockers aligned. Jackson and Beretich were both there. High for Green. Tip gives West Virginia the point. That's off another Texas hand. 13 to eight, and the timeout has benefited West Virginia. As we see just Raising the fingertip of Asia O'Neill. Foster's serve is good and low. Skinner with a bomb. And it's Miller just to lift it over. Texas has to react. Skinner crushed it. Count the point for the Longhorns. Madison Skinner from Katy, Texas. Waiting for that the entire way. Right away from the West Virginia Libero Kovas who is back in position. Jackson denied. Skinner back to back to get the block that time. And Texas for the first time in this match seeing that they were ready for the attack from Tierney Jackson. Skinner and Asia O'Neill. Tough two. Slam dunk for O'Neill. 16 8, and all of a sudden they've got that eight point lead reestablished, and Coach Sonohara has seen enough. Timeout, West Virginia. 90 seconds until we restart this second set. It was a first set that was back and forth, and Texas ultimately took it 25 23, but this second set has been a different story has been all Texas and Longhorns just playing their game. In the match, 
Texas hitting 333, West Virginia 254. Digs are 20 to 16 in favor of the Longhorns. Blocks 4-3. And to be honest with you, a nice contingent of Texas fans here in Morgantown. A lot of burnt orange coming into the Coliseum late, about 45 minutes before our match started. Here at the WVU Coliseum in Morgantown, Texas. Looking to go perfect all time against West Virginia. Mountaineers have never fallen, or West Virginia has never beaten, rather, this Texas team. Longhorns, 23-0. A perfect 24 if they get the job done. Bailey Miller, Camila Kovas for West Virginia. Final words from Coach Sonahar to them. And the server. Emma Halter gets her instructions from Coach Elliott. We're back underway. 16 to 8, Texas here in set number two. Attack comes across far to the middle by Bailey Miller. Actually, Miller was the diversion there. Get the kill to Emma Beretich. After the timeout, West Virginia gets the first point, 16-9. That yeah, was perfect from Madison Skinner. Took something off of it. Sold the, crushed the entire way. Gets the setup off hands. Texas keeps it alive. Miller off hands. Point West Virginia. 17 10. Well, certainly not the cleanest look, but West Virginia has benefited a couple times just from those slight deflections. That one not as slight. Coming off the block. Mountaineers ready for the attack from O'Neill that time. Miller, great dig from Halter. And killed by Skinner immediately after. Changes come for West Virginia. Tierney Jackson makes way. Daniel and Neal, a freshman from Austin, into the game for the first time. Miller blocked at the net by Asia O'Neill. Ella Swindle, the freshman, was there too. And it's 19-10. Texas, six away from taking the first two sets here in Morgantown. for Maddie McGaff, the Wisconsinite. Given that Tierney Jackson-esque look on the swing to the near side. Well, one time it seems in this set that Texas's block wasn't set up perfectly. Asian O'Neill was in the inside. 19-11 Longhorns. Green, oh great play from Akana to keep it alive. Texas keeps the rally going. And there is Haley Green, ice cold, dropping it for a point. Wow, that's perfect placement. Through the middle, Skinner 
Can't hit. It's out, and Mountaineers get the point. So numbers tell the story in this case. Miller serve handled, and Wenis attacks and kills. 2013, lead is back to seven for the visiting Longhorns. Yeah, credit to Akana, who dealt with that serve as well as she could, ends up being a great set. As O'Neill makes what? looked very good here for West Virginia. Placement has been the name of the game for her. And Sarah Gooch in the contest now for WVU, replacing the guy. Service specialist for West Virginia, Sarah Gooch. Freshman from Florida. Wenis had it blocked, and Neal came in crashing on it, as did Haley Green. And that's just off the hand of DeLow. All fell apart for West Virginia in a matter of seconds. 21-14 Texas here in the second set. And that is a flick of the wrist for the Longhorns, Molly Phillips. Reception of that serve. Makes the easiest point. 22-14, Longhorns, and again, West Virginia can't handle the serve. Halter, they go to Wenis, and they go to within two. 23-14, Longhorns. Texas now will bring in Kenna Miller, the red shirt freshman from Justin, Texas. <laughs> Serve from Swindle, well handled by West Virginia. Green to the far corner for a West Virginia point. serve. Texas again goes for that dummy through the middle and that is pushed out for a West Virginia point. Mariah Singletary was the attack that time and she just pushed it over. Denied, but out. Point West Virginia. Another late surge here for the Mountaineers. But is it too late? Singletary and Kenna Miller were there for the block. They go through the middle. Singletary got it, and Kovas can't get it over. Set point here for the Longhorns, 24-17. Marissa Barnes to steal the set. And it happens with a bit of anti-climax. 25-17, Texas up two sets here on West Virginia in Morgantown as we've reached the intermission. Texas, 25-17 in set number. So Asia O'Neill will make way back in the game. Back in the match, back available for Texas after missing last night's match. And Texas will make 
its personnel decisions based on West Virginia's and vice versa. And it will be Texas to defend West Virginia's service to begin our third set. The low serve. Swindle through the middle. Well blocked by West Virginia. And they can attack off of this. Kept up unintentionally. Haley Green. Point Mountaineers. Well, Haley Green gets the kill for West Virginia, and that is a match high 10 for Haley Green. Texas' Jenna Wenis has nine, Madison Skinner seven, Tierney Jackson with seven, and Asia O'Neill with five as the service error. Dooms West Virginia yet again. Haley Green hitting 429 in the match. Asia O'Neill, 625. Our leaders, back-to-back -back errors for Texas, that time from Emma Halter. Halter with a dig leader. She's got 11 as Green makes way for the Mountaineers. This is Foster back in, didn't see a ton of her. In the second set. 2-1 West Virginia, they go through the middle, and Asia O'Neill keeps that hit percentage very high. Quick turn and plunge of the ball, 2-2. O'Neill now with six kills in her return game. Akana with a serve. Delo to the middle, drop it for WVU. Lauren Delo. Delo the setter gets the point for West Virginia and Kobus on the serve. And Akana played it, might have been out. Skinner pushes it over. And couldn't keep it in. Trying to create that same attack that she had early in the first set. Pushed one towards the back corner for a unique score. That time, unable to. 4-2. Mountaineers up to begin this third set. Kovas is served, dealt with. And O'Neill shot it across for West Virginia with a great job to keep the rally going. Swindle pushed it over to Skinner for the point. Madison Skinner's got eight kills in the game. And West Virginia knew it was coming, just couldn't stop it. Skinner had 12 kills last night, so give her 20 across the two matches here in Morgantown. Far side, Tierney Jackson appeals for the deflection and they will give West Virginia the deflection and the points. Tierney Jackson with eight now for WVU. Jackson had 10 last night, so she's playing well. Through the middle, Skinner slams it. Right down for the kill. Texas now within one, five, four. And the placement has just been perfect for her tonight. Serve from O'Neill. Not remarkably clean for West Virginia. And Bailey Miller couldn't keep it in. O'Neill serve again. That's difficult. 
And Swindle makes it work for Texas. West Virginia just not remarkably clean on that. Samia Foster couldn't work it out. Texas has now taken the lead in this third set, 6-5. O'Neill's delivery, difficult again. Mountaineers were blocked at the net, and Bailey Miller adjusts, but the pancake keeps it up. That was extremely well done by Wenis. She's crushed, and it's over the net. Counted for McGaff. Well, some points are easy, some points are hard. That was both at the same time. Good reaction there from Kovas to deal with it, and then Texas out of system. West Virginia got the good bounce. We're tied up at six here in our third set. That's not clean from Texas. See if West Virginia can take the lead here. And Green went for the attack. Texas denied at the net, Singletary. Gonna push it way up there for Wenis. And she gets the kill. Perfect height there as Neal. Waiting for it, that just comes too hard and too quick. Green, five hole on Madison Skinner. Perfect distance, perfect power. We're tied at seven here in the third set. Yeah, well, when Haley Green has been set up, making Texas pay, the only problem is the looks haven't been remarkably clean. Good job for Miller to set up Green again, and that is out for another West Virginia point, 8-7. Mountaineers by one here in this third set. That's at the net. Singletary can't keep it in, point West Virginia. Near side, destroyed by Wenis, who's having a heck of a game. She's got 11 kills here for the Longhorns. And the serve now to Barnes. With support literally at her back. That is off the net and she'll get an ace out of it. Could be because Texas traveling to Morgantown one final time. That's a 50-50 that belongs to West Virginia. 10-9. Mashing of the hands. And we get a perfect look at it. Balance favored to low by just the slightest amount. And counted again for WVU. Baratich that time. No clean volleyball. In the last couple of sets, or last couple of uh, rallies, however, hard to come by. That remains to be true. Another error by West Virginia. 11 to 10. There has been no point of stable lead for West Virginia with the exception of very early in the first set last night. Good dig from Barnes. Skinner denied by Kovas. DeLow tried to set up Veritich coming on. 
sliding in too little too late was Kovas, and we're tied at 11 here in this third set. So Texas gets some points back. Longhorns took the first set, 25-23. Second set, 25-17. Kovas for green. Denied at the net. Asia O'Neill and Phillips. That's a good job from Phillips to get up and over the net without a fault. And there is a fault against West Virginia. 13-11, Longhorns by two. Serve from Halter. They set up green. Match leader in kills. Gets another one there. Haley Green, give her 13. Another excellent job by Kovas. Kept that rally up and going. Foster serve, dealt with by Skinner. O'Neill tries to quick flip across in this one point set. O'Neill and a dug by Kovis. Texas just has to get it over now. They'll push it to the far side. Delow mishandled it. It's going to stay in. And West Virginia out of sorts. Madison Skinner takes advantage. Skinner now with 10 kills in the match. Miller with a missile. Off the left shoulder of Emma Halter. Texas up two sets to none. We're in the third set here in Morgantown. Swindle, O'Neill denied. Good block by West Virginia. They go to Skinner, took something off of it, and the low can't make anything of it. 15-13, Longhorns. And we'll get a timeout called to put a pause on things. 40-38, West Virginia has the advantage in kills, errors, 12 to 10, past the hour 20 minute mark. In this third set, Texas is hitting 350. Kill percentage of 450. Six digs, they've got 29 in the game. So Skinner to restart. And O'Neill had the opportunity to put that one away, kept up by Kovis. Swindle, a quick attack denied by the West Virginia front line. Trying to use jump. And cannot get the block effectively. Wenis scores it. Wenis really didn't have too much to say in last night's match until late. And she has continued that here in this one. She finished with nine kills. In last night's match, as West Virginia gets the point now, and she continues to do great work. Yeah, 
Salinas with 12 kills now. Skims off the top of the net, Texas by two. That might have been the best kill from Asia O'Neal all night. Had a really good look at it here. Over Kovis, but in. That is the family of Kayleigh Akana. Another block for Texas here makes it 18-14. Now we've got a pause and a review. So we are challenging, West Virginia is, a net fault. And it was cool actually because the Big 12 officials gave me a expedited CRS communication cheat sheet before that match has started. And there are signals of our Big 12 officials here of what rules what via the fingers behind their back. One is a touch, two is in or out, three is a net fault, which is what we're reviewing right now, four is an attack line fault, and five is a service foot fault. Now I get a digit or two or three when the call is received, and it is confirmed to me with either one finger, which means confirmed, two is reversed, or three stands. West Virginia is challenging a net fault here. That's going to be a close one. I'll be interested to see what they call here. At its stands. Texas 18, West Virginia 14. And it will be confirmed. No net fault for West Virginia. And I did keep an eye on my digit man. One of our officials. Our line judge, Dante Parente. Brad Alberg, our referee, along with Mara Wager. Texas gets a point, makes it 19-14 on the ensuing rally. And the Mountaineers want a timeout, down 19-14. Six points away from a Texas clean sweep. Kill leaders in this one, Haley Green for West Virginia's got 13. And Swindle with four blocks with Asia O'Neill. Baratich has three, Tierney Jackson has two. So if West Virginia's gonna do anything with this, it's gotta be now, and then it's gotta be for another two sets. Timeout concludes for the Mountaineers, 1914 Texas. O'Neill waits and delivers, and Foster couldn't commit to letting it go or making a play, 20 to 14. Foster again receives, Miller attacks, dug by O'Neill. Kovas, a nice one-handed play. Miller hangs it up, and Swindle near side. Mountaineers block it well. McGath that time. McGath and Bailey Miller. 
Half a nut front for the Mountaineers who trail by five here in this third set. Taking the first set, 25-23, and then 25-17, the Longhorns. And that's into the net from Bailey Miller. Logan has set up McGaff, pushes it across, and dug well by Halter. And McGaff denied, but a carry on West Virginia, and it's 22-15. Green attacks. Great reception by Skinner. Blocked by West Virginia, and no one there for it for the Longhorns, 22-16. Serve comes from Gooch. It's down the middle. Counted for Texas. Mariana Singletary. Five kills and three blocks last night puts Texas two within two. Within one of match point. Back over, we'll give West Virginia the point. Outside of the pole. 23-17. Through the middle, Singletary got a piece of it. And Miller got a piece of it. Match point here for the Longhorns. Wanted to get a full swing at it. Didn't make a clean connection, and Miller had misread the path that it took. Match point for the Longhorns, and Miller can't handle it. It's a sweep for Texas, and they have won 12 in a row. Number four, Texas defeats West Virginia in three sets in back-to-back -back nights. It's a final of the third set, 25-17 to go along with 25-23 in our first set and 25-17 in our second set. And that'll do it here from Morgantown, West Virginia. Haley Green finishes with 14 kills. Jenna Wenis at Texas High, 12. Asia O'Neill in her return game after 